What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Angling Addicts Pacific Northwest. My name is Nick, and in these last few videos, we've been covering a lot on uh, soft beads, how to get them pegged, how to get them set up, the fishing setup for everything. And something I've been wanting to come back to is the bead knot. And this bead knot is actually rather effective. It's fairly simple. Uh, but in my my own preference, I actually prefer using, you know, like the, some of these standard uh, bead stops as opposed to uh, actually tying one of these little beads in line here. But we're going to do it anyways because I've been getting asked about it and there are times where I think it, it can actually be a little more beneficial uh, over these other setups. So instead of using the tiny, tiny little three mil glass bead that you would usually use, I'm going to try and use something that's a little bit slightly bigger, slightly brighter, so you can actually see what is going on here. So we've got that little bead set up. We've got our leader, which is coming down to our egg loop down there on this uh, little number two gamakatsu hook. So to get things started, we're gonna come back to our tag end. We're gonna grab our bead and we are going to thread our bead onto our line and just let it come all the way down to the bottom. Now, this is gonna cut, this is where things start to become a little more tricky. So I'll try and get you guys a better camera angle so you guys are able to see exactly what is going on. But with the bead being down here at the bottom, we're gonna come back to our tag end and we're gonna wanna run this line back through that bead. You see, it's just going to create this big, big loop. So we're going to try and get rid of as much of this loop as we can. We're going to make it a much, much smaller loop here. And I found that it's always best to keep this bead as close to the hook as you can, because uh, it's always a bit more of a pain working it, working it back. But the only downside to that is that it does give us just very little of this hook end to be working with. But as you can see, we basically just have this little loop going on here. So what we're gonna wanna do is grab on to that bead and the loop to keep it there. So we've got our tag end coming off this other side, obviously the hook end here. So now we're just gonna run our hook through that loop six times. Do one more. Let's see where we are. Uh, about out of space there. So that leaves us with all these twists, our little bead is in my finger right there. So now this is really the tricky part is getting your bead to come down to where you want it to be without losing its, uh, its position here. We really want it to be in the middle of this knot. So it takes just a bit of finagling to get it down. We'll try and get things spaced and then we'll get our our bead back up into position here so this even with uh, a little bit of experience can still be a bit tricky but considering you really do want to have this thing within a two two and a half finger widths away from that hook down there you really want to be pretty careful with what's going on here all right so now We've got it there. We're gonna, er, stuck in my finger. <laughs> Pull that guy a little tight. So now we've got our bead tied in there and that's not gonna interfere with anything. It's not going to uh, make our line any weaker. So now that we've got that guy set up into place, we're gonna need to come back to our bead. We're gonna go with this beautiful orange creamsicle here. And again, using my uh, little <laughs> sewing needle here which uh, just helps me get these beads set up on here. So we've got the bead on the needle. We come here to our tag end, thread that guy through. That way we can just take our bead, get it onto our line. And we're gonna run that guy down, all the way down to our bead. Now that we're there, you can either leave it sitting there, kind of like how some of these other stops work, or what you can do is actually what it's meant for, is to slide inside the bead. And if we uh, had some better lighting or we had a bit more of a clear bead here, it would actually add almost like a little bit of a, 
an embryo look inside there. So now this thing is not gonna slide down, it's not gonna slide up. It should, for the most part, hold its position. And again, it's just another option on top of some of these other things that are out there for uh, getting your bead to hold in its place. So I hope that that helps some of you guys out. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel. Uh, as always, best of luck to you guys and I hope to see you out on the river.